good evening, good night, welcome to Waves of Ten. The topic for this fall season is easy to confuse, so let's jump right into it. In this second episode, we'll deal with medical terms that are sometimes mistaken for each other. I'll be the first one to admit that there are many medical terms that I have difficulty pronouncing. However, I kind of made it worse by generally assuming that all medical words are difficult for me to pronounce. I'll admit that on more than one occasion, I found myself about to glance over a word when I realized, hey, I can pronounce that word, and so I do. However, when it comes to the meaning of some medical terms, they are not always what I think they mean. Well, here we go with 10 groups of medical terms that can be easy to confuse. Acne vulgaris and acne rosacea. Acne vulgaris is commonly known as acne, while acne rosacea as rosacea. Both of them are chronic skin diseases. Acne occurs when dead skin and oil blocks ear follicles, thereby preventing the regular operation of the skin. Then, what looks like boils, etc., forms all over the face. Nevertheless, acne can occur in other parts of the body. On the other hand, rosacea is more like redness and swelling mainly on the center of the face, that is, on the forehead eyes, cheeks, nose, and chin. Rosacea can also cause the nose to swell. At the start of it, rosacea can have what appears to look like boils too, and that's one of the reasons for the confusion. Arteries and veins. Arteries and veins are both blood vessels. However, arteries are red while veins are blue. Arteries carry blood throughout the body but not to the heart. And the blood pressure pumping here is powerful. Its blood also has a high level of oxygen. On the other hand, veins push blood to the heart and the blood pressure here is lower than that of the arteries. It also has a low level of oxygen in its blood. Whenever you get a chance, do a quick search on arteries and veins and like me, I think you will walk away thinking the human body is fascinating. Wow! Dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Dementia is a general term for when someone is notably losing their memory and their daily routine becomes too much for them to handle on their own. Alzheimer's disease is a form of dementia and can be said to be a brain-eating disease. Presently, there is no known cure for it and no definitive reason as to what causes it. I once heard someone say that his grandmother had Alzheimer's and although she could not remember many things, including him, the moment she listened to the first or so line of a church song, she could sing it right to the end. Also, you just had to ask her where a particular Bible verse was, and most often than not, she could tell you. Glaucoma and cataracts. Glaucoma and cataracts affects the eyes. Glaucoma occurs when the optic nerve is damaged due to too many pressure inside of the eyes. The optic nerves connect the eyes to the brain and damage to it can cause blindness. Cataracts occur when the fiber and protein in the eye's lenses start to break down. This is usually due to old age or an injury to the eyes. Then the lenses become cloudy and thereby impairing a person's vision. Hermaphrodite and androgen insensitivity syndrome. Hermaphrodite is said to be a plant or animal having both female and male physical reproductive organs. 
while androgen insensitivity syndrome is a genetic disorder in that someone is physically female while genetically male. Hypertension and hypotension. Hypertension is when the blood pressure is high. Too much blood is going into the arteries. Hypotension is when the blood pressure is low and hardly flows to the arteries, brain, and organs. Osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis is commonly known as wear and tear arthritis. It occurs when the cartilages between the joints wear away over time. Therefore, with no cushion between the joints, they can result in a lot of pain for the patient. Rheumatoid arthritis occurs when the immune system attacks the body joints. For some reason, the immune system attacks the healthy tissues in the body and cause inflammation in the joints. So, posterior arthritis is the wearing down of the physical joints while rheumatoid arthritis is the immune system attacking healthy tissues. Podiatrist and orthopedist. Podiatrists are doctors who specialize in the care of the foot and ankle. They deal with bunions, diabetes-related foot problems, arthritis, and more. Orthopedists are also doctors, and they deal with the musculoskeletal system, that is, bones, joints, muscles, and tendons throughout the body. Type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is a long-lasting medical condition that has to do with how food is turned into energy in one's body. Most of the food we eat is turned into sugar and enters the bloodstream. When the sugar in the blood rises, the pancreas is alerted and it releases insulin that allows this blood to enter the cells and be used as energy. With type 1 diabetes, the body does not produce insulin because the immune system attacks healthy cells because for some reason it does not think that these cells belongs there. With type 2 diabetes, although the pancreas produces insulin, the body does not use it correctly. Therefore, the sugar level is not regulated correctly and too much sugar remained in the blood. This can lead to damages to the organs, eyes, and more. Vertigo and acrophobia. Vertigo is not a condition. It is a symptom that something is not right in the body. For example, you can experience vertigo because of migraines and ear infections. Vertigo is when a person has a feeling or sensation in which they and or their immediate environment is whirling. On the other hand, acrophobia is an unusual fear of heights or an area that a person may consider a high place. Therefore, if someone is in a high place and they exclaimed, I have vertigo, they may instead be experiencing a fear of heights. So, with vertigo, something is wrong in the body, while agoraphobia is the unusual fear of heights. So, there we have it. Acne vulgaris and acne rosacea, arteries and veins, dementia and Alzheimer's disease, glaucoma and cataracts, hormophodite and androgen insensitivity syndrome, hypertension and hypotension, osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, podiatrist and orthopedist, type 1 and type 2 diabetes and vertigo and agoraphobia. Thanks for being here guys. Bye bye.